I just wanted to say thank you so much for 50,000 subs! I never thought I would make it this far, so this is kind of insane. You know, I've been doing this for almost three years now, I think, so... Wait, has it been three years? I started Aaron Plays because not only did I need a creative outlet, but there wasn't a voice out there that was quite like mine when it came to retro gaming. And I wanted to fill that void. As many of you know, I don't pretend to be an expert. I love researching and learning about things that are new to me and sharing it with you guys and playing the games for the Let's Plays and streams and just hanging out with you guys on stream and in the comments in the videos and it's just such an awesome little community we have. And the fact that 50,000 of you are still with me after talking about stuff like the backtracks and television or old toy catalogs really means a lot. I guess I'm not the only one that feels overly sentimental or nostalgic at times. We've built up a really fun and chill community and I never thought it would be anything like this. So as a thank you to you guys, I'd like to give back by doing an open Q&A video later on. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below and then I will try to get through as many as I can for that video. And what better way to celebrate 50,000 subs than by playing Caliber 50 on the Sega Genesis. So let's get to it. April 1972 in the Far East. <gasps> Something's gonna happen. And there's no music here. It's just dead silent. 20 years later, oh my god, has the guy been there for 20 years? And now is the story of Kel.50, aka Caliber 50. Now, okay, so I'm gonna be real here. I was like, hey, I don't know what to do for a 50k video. Should I even do one? And then my friend's like, well, why don't you play 50 Caliber on the Sega Genesis? And I said, oh my god, because you know, 50, 50, <laughs> get it? Um, so I've never played this before. But I think it's kind of fun to discover new games. I never hear anybody talk about this game, but it looks cool. We're, we're a guy in um, overalls with a blonde bowl cut. Maybe it's a helmet, but I think that's his hair. So this is pretty nuts. So let's get going. So to turn around, you gotta use A and C. Then you shoot with B, so. I'm a little uh, wonky with those types of controls, but. I'm sure I will get the hang of it. Oh my god, there's a chicken! Ah! Oh god, oh god. Can I, like, have the chicken as a sidekick? Oh, did I just kill a cow? I didn't mean to do that. So, okay, we're getting bullets. They kind of look like Twinkies or baguettes. But I guess they're bullets, and we're gonna collect them all. Shoot all these dudes. Who's terrorizing our chicken friends? See, that chicken doesn't die. Good. He's a good boy. He's a good boy chicken. Okay, so now we have like a laser. Ooh, and a grenade I think we got. Oh, I mean, not a laser, it's like flames. So we have a straight up flamethrower right now. Too bad it doesn't have a really long reach. I mean, it's long, but not long enough. And I realized I just set myself up for a that's what she said joke. I really didn't mean to. <sighs> Ooh, is that the tiki room back there? Can't set the tiki room on fire. You know what? Um, the tiki room actually did catch on fire once at Disneyland. Uh, when they put Iago in there to try to make it like more modern. I think it was the Iago animatronic and it caught on fire. So um, I think that was the tiki gods saying, can we just have this as Walt created it? And then it went back to normal. I could be telling that story wrong because it's been a while, but I'm pretty sure that's what happened. <laughs> So this is our first bossy boss, I think. Oh, I got hit. So now I lost my, um... Fuck! I lost my power up. Oh my god, I can't scratch my nose. <laughs> Look at me turn around. See, I'm bad with these controls. I'm turning around like an idiot. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta pause it. It's so hard not to just keep going, Boo! Like a helicopter or something. Because, okay. Here is the Sega Genesis controller. So it's like you turn around with A and C and you shoot with B. So you have your finger down all the time on B. But then sometimes, you know, you can roll over your thumb a bit to like C or A to turn around. And it's just, I don't know. It's not that awkward. It just takes some time to get used to. I think, I think I can get used to it. And as you can see, I have not yet gotten used to it. So that is where we stand right now in this playthrough of Caliber 50 on the Sega Genesis. Fuck. I could really use a power-up right now. Ooh, what's the K for? Kick-ass. 
So that's a little different. It's like pew 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 pew. pew. Let's go down here. Ooh, water. Oh no. Oh, so I can also throw grenades somehow. Wait, wait, wait. So I think, hold on. So if I hold down B, it shoots. Then if I do, but then if I just let go or do it once, it kind of, it throws a little grenade after. Oh, okay, okay. All kinds of things happen in caliber 50. Oh, you know what? Maybe I go through the water. Here, let me turn around. Oh God, oh God. Do I jump on a turtle? Nope, I, I don't. I want to- I want to save the turtles. Okay, I guess I don't go up there. Oh, you do shoot- I just turned the turtle upside down. I'm sorry. Uh, okay, so I guess I'm just going over here. And there's dudes everywhere. This is bad. This is not a good situation to be in. And I imagine it's like a sluggish mud area that he's walking through so he doesn't have too much speed right now. Fuck, 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 fuck. Why won't they die? Why won't they die? Die! What? Where? Okay, now I'm somewhere else. There's a lot happening in Caliber 50. Everything's fine. I'm sorry if I'm overreacting a little. It's just this is all new to me and it's out of control. It kind of reminds me of my first time playing Guerrilla Warfare. That game is fucking nonstop out of control and the whole time I was like, oh my god, oh my god. I think that's actually um, on Mike's second channel, I think, I think. Because we stream that together and it's like non-stop craziness but you know what it's fun to play games that like um not everyone talks about like i did a video in an arcade game called kit and caboodle nobody knows about kit and caboodle but when i found out about kit and caboodle i was like this is a great game so i made a video of it in go in the hole you know what this is kind of like if somebody wanted to make akari warriors like 20 percent better Oh my god, are they robots? What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. And they have flamethrowers. These robots have flamethrowers. So I know I've been like spinning around a lot. <laughs> because, partly because I don't know what I'm doing, but also because it seemed to be, to, um, it seems to have been working. But I think what they want you to do, you know, is kind of, you angle yourself a certain way and then you just kind of strafe. You know what I mean? It's a strafe a fun word. Wait, hold on. I need to get a better angle. See, it's, it's harder than it looks, I think. Yeah, let's get some stuff. Okay, come on, Aaron. Stop. Just go straight. There we go. See, I want to be, like, straight. Oh my god, I got it straight. It's so hard to get it just right, like, just where you want it. Oh my god. Who's shooting at me up there? Whoa. Whoa. Can I- hold on. Oh god. Oh god! Okay, I'm gonna try to chuck some grenades. Fuckers. Fuckers! Ugh! I'm just gonna run and get out of here. I don't give a fuck. I, we, we need- this is an emergency. I like how right after I explain about strafing, <laughs> my ass is back to just like, go twirling in circles. Oh my god. This makes me want to play Jackal. I actually really like Jackal. Akari Warriors, I have never really fallen in love with, but I know that's kind of a game that's not really considered good. He's wearing no shirt under his overalls. Alright, now we're gonna go in this hole! Uh-oh. Oh my goodness. No, not chimpanzees. I'm afraid of chimpanzees. Because they can rip your face off. Oh wait, are there things shooting at me from the bottom? No. Okay. Oh, fuck. So I played through again and now I'm back to where I died. Oh my god, there's three monkeys? I thought there was only two! Oh my god, I'm not gonna be able to do this. Okay, Aaron, get it together. Maybe if I- no. Fuck. I'm trying to find like a good angle and it's really annoying. Those little white things are skulls, I guess, so where are they getting these skulls? I don't like it. Fuck! It's like they kind of follow you. Oh my god, did we do it? Oh! And then it got me! The last skull! <sighs> Whatever. We made progress, right? Right. Oh, what? 
So now there's landmines. I didn't even see that, so I don't know if they just come up or what, but. Okay, so now I got a better power up. I think the bullets might be life, like those little hot dog looking ones. I'm just gonna keep going. I don't have to kill everybody, I just gotta keep on going. Oh, is that a landmine? That little blue thing? What the fuck? I didn't realize when I started, but this is obviously a bullet hell type game. So, keep that in mind if you want to tackle caliber 50. <laughs> I just like saying that. I don't know why. I'm losing my mind. A for ass. Apples. Ammunition. Who knows? Can I go in here? Nope. I guarantee you there's gonna be someone commenting going like, obviously the A stands for whatever. God. They're just gonna be really upset right now. So anyone that's mad, you know what the A stands for? It stands for ask me if I care. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Oh my god, it's a giant turtle. It's a giant Koopa. Or something. Oh my god, look at his head. He poked his head out. Okay, I'm stuck in the little trench. Okay, come on, come on, get away, get away, get away. Yeah. Oh my god, so the bullets are life. That's really, um, forgiving and nice. It's just, you know, trying to get them while you're doing the boss, kind of hard. Fuck! Die already! Like, honestly. This is a bit, this is a bit ridiculous. There we go! Whoa! Fuck. Well, <laughs> that's caliber 50 on the Sega Genesis. So it's always fun to check out obscure games. You know, this was actually pretty fun. I didn't know what to expect and I enjoyed it. I like it. It's harder than I thought it would be. Not like super hard, but it does get a little bit bullet hellish, you know? So if that's something you're into, then check it out. And again, thank you so much for watching and thank you for 50k subs. Holy moly, thanks again. Um, the Q&A video will be out eventually. I might put another video out first. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again very soon. Bye.